The National Strategy to Prevent and Respond to Gender-Based Violence 2016-2025 to was launched in 2016, which aims to strengthen and institutionalize the work on GBV in order to achieve zero tolerance towards GBV as per the Papua New Guinea Vision 2050. However, Governor Pakop stressed that this policy was launched but was failed to be implemented in this country. And I want to remind us to, starting with the Constitution, National Goals and Directive Principle calls for equality, calls for all people, men and women, to free ourselves from all forms of oppression. That's in our Constitution. It was there from the beginning. It's also in the rights and freedom provision of the Constitution. Section 55 calls for equality. Have we implemented it? Who is being brought to account? Big gap in terms of the policy, the law, and action. He says they need to push for legislation where the committee has planned for about three inquiries this year. He confirmed that they will have a summit to look at all the government departments, including national, provincial, and local level governments. Imagine if uh, all the government departments implement the strategy on gender-based violence, that they have a policy of zero tolerance to gender-based violence in the workplace and then in the community. You work man long government, you committing gender-based violence in the community, you will lose your employment. Imagine that. And we have almost, I think, 36,000 or maybe 40,000 employees of the state. It's the biggest employer in Papua New Guinea. Imagine if there is 36 or even if it's 30,000, all of them being gender synthesized, all of them subject to this policy, all of them honoring the policy by practice inside the house, in their community and in workplace. Uh, what big difference that would make. Governor Pakov stressed that our country cannot reach its potential and realize its vision without the girls and women of this country. Therefore, the committee members are taking their work seriously. Especially for us, men and women working together, being partners for development, for progress, for the shared vision that we should have. And that's my personal commitment going into Parliament. Uh, I want to say this too, that um, I take my role in Parliament seriously. Because many try, many wants to get to Parliament, but only a few of us. Estagane, National MTV News.